Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, yellow triangle ABD is fully confined in a big triangle uh, ABC, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, these uh, side lengths uh, AD is equal to this side length uh, BD, and this is equal to another side length uh, BC. And furthermore, uh, this angle uh, CAD is uh, 6x. This angle uh, BCA is uh, 26 uh, X and finally this angle uh, ABD is uh, 4 X and now our task is to calculate uh, this angle uh, X please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step let's focus on this uh, yellow triangle uh, ABD and we know that this is an isosceles uh, triangle since uh, this side length uh, equal to this side length so therefore uh, this angle uh, must be equal to this angle if this angle is 4x uh, this angle has got to be 4x uh, as well and here's our next step I have connected uh, this uh, point uh, C with this uh, point uh, D as you can see over here and as a result, uh, this whole angle uh, 26x uh, has been uh, divided into two parts, uh, this angle and uh, this angle. Let's assume that this uh, angle uh, is uh, our angle alpha. Then uh, this angle is going to be 26x minus alpha. So let me go ahead and write down 26x uh, uh, minus uh, alpha. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, big uh, quadrilateral uh, BACD whose uh, this angle is uh, 4x, this uh, angle is uh, alpha and this uh, whole angle is going to be 4x plus 6x uh, is going to add up to 10x. And now let's recall a crucial fact if we have uh, this uh, quadrilateral ABCD such that uh, these interior angles are uh, A, B and uh, C where this uh, outside angle is uh, X then uh, according to this uh, fact uh, this outside angle X uh, is going to be equal to the sum of these uh, three interior angles A plus B plus uh, C. So therefore according to this fact uh, the sum of all these uh, three interior uh, angles uh, must be equal to this uh, outside uh, angle. Let's go ahead and add these uh, angles. I can write down 4x uh, plus 10x. Let me write down 4x uh, plus uh, 10x uh, plus uh, this uh, angle uh, alpha and that is turns out to be 14x plus uh, alpha and this uh, angle is going to be our this angle so I can write uh, 14x plus uh, alpha this angle do you want to see the proof to this uh, fact let me go ahead and show you a quick uh, proof and here's our very first step let's go ahead and extend uh, this line uh, BD all the way over here as you can see in this uh, next step and as a result we got this uh, triangle uh, a b e and now let's recall the exterior angle theorem according to this theorem the exterior angle uh, of a triangle is equal to the sum of two opposite uh, interior angles as you can see in this uh, diagram and here we can see that this is our exterior angle whereas uh, these are our opposite uh, interior angles such that uh, this exterior angle C is going to be equal to the sum of two opposite interior angles A plus B. Now we are going to apply the same uh, exterior angle theorem on this uh, triangle ABE where this uh, is going to be our exterior angle whereas uh, these are going to be our two opposite uh, interior angles. So therefore, uh, this angle is going to be equal to A plus B. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, another tiny triangle uh, CDE. And we are going to apply this uh, very same uh, exterior theorem uh, on this uh, 
triangle uh, once again and here in this case uh, this angle x is going to be our exterior angle whereas uh, these uh, angles are going to be our opposite uh, interior angles so therefore according to this fact uh, this uh, angle exterior angle x is going to be sum of these uh, two interior angles which is uh, a plus b plus uh, c and that is our proof we have proven uh, this uh, fact and here's our next step let's focus uh, on this uh, triangle uh, bcd and we know that this is an isosceles triangle since uh, this uh, side length uh, equal to this side length that means uh, this angle has got to be equal to this uh, angle in this uh, isosceles triangle let me go ahead and equate uh, these uh, two angles let me write down 14 x plus alpha equal to the other one is 26 x minus alpha let me go ahead and subtract 14 x from both sides this is gone so therefore alpha is going to be equal to 12 x minus alpha let's go ahead and move this alpha on the left hand side so we got alpha plus alpha equal to 12 x so that means 2 alpha equals to 12 x so let's go ahead and divide both sides by 2 this is gone so therefore alpha turns out to be equal to 6 x so therefore i'm going to replace uh, this uh, angle alpha by this uh, 6 uh, x uh, over here and here's our next step let's focus uh, on this uh, triangle uh, adc and we know that this uh, angle uh, is congruent to this angle both of them are 6x so therefore uh, this uh, triangle adc is an isosceles triangle so therefore uh, this side length AD is going to be equal to this side length CD as you can see in this equation and here's our final step let's focus uh, on this uh, triangle uh, BCD we know that this is an equilateral uh, triangle since all these uh, side lengths uh, are uh, congruent and now let's recall this uh, crucial fact the angles of an equilateral triangles are 60 degrees each so therefore all these angles this angle is 60 degrees this angle is 60 degrees and this angle is 60 degrees as well so therefore let me go ahead and equate uh, this angle uh, equal to 60 degrees so let me go ahead and write down uh, 26 uh, x uh, minus alpha equal to 60 degrees and now we know that our alpha equal to 6x so i'm going to replace this uh, alpha by 6x uh, over here so that's going to give us 20x equal to 60 degrees let's divide both sides by 20 so therefore x uh, turns out to be 3 degrees so thus our angle x value turns out to be 3 degrees thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye